Himirandasya Gena Jana Salakaya Chaksu Un Militam Yena Tasma Shri Guru Vena Maha Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai So time is short and I'll just speak something that is somewhat connected to my seva. People ask me sometimes, where did this idea of jail preaching begin? And I immediately remember that in 1962, Srila Prabhupada went to Tihar Jail in India and gave a lecture to the inmates there. And Prabhupada was so inspired by the reception that he got from those inmates that he wrote a letter to the head jailer, Mr. Pori, explaining how that if you give me a chance, I can turn all of these prisoners, inmates, into first-class citizens. So Prabhupada was one of the first persons, he's actually in at least in our movement of ISKCON to actually enter into the jails and bring Krishna consciousness there. In jail preaching, one of the things that I've been noticing that really inspires people to take up Krishna consciousness, and the most amazing thing is that many of the persons who are practicing Krishna consciousness in jail have never met a devotee but they have met Srila Prabhupada through Srila Prabhupada's books. And so there's been a, a large effort over the last two decades, at least two decades or maybe even more, to flood the jails as much as we could with Srila Prabhupada's books. And the results that we've gotten from that is quite extraordinary in the sense that people who never came to a temple, maybe even most of them never heard of Hare Krishna, never met a devotee, but somehow got Srila Prabhupada's books, became so serious in their own individual practice that they're chanting regularly, some of them, most of them, many of them, 16 rounds, and also preaching Krishna consciousness to their other inmates. Recently, I was, just a couple weeks ago, I went to one jail in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, in the United States. And I was scheduled to do a program with a group of inmates there. The program has been going on for a couple of years. And so I had done, done all the arrangements to get in. And when I was, went to the jail, I didn't have my a vehicle, so someone dropped me off and I came into the... And then uh, I had to wait for the chaplain to come in in order to escort me into the jail. So I'm waiting, and then I realize I forgot my ID. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh no. <laughs> no ID, going into a, a prison, not possible. So I was praying. Finally, the, the, the uh, chaplain came. He was very friendly. He came up to me, shook my hand, thanked me for coming. He said, okay, now we can go. Takes me through the security. I get to the other side. I'm thinking, wow, I got this far without the ID. And then I thought, let me think of Krishna, because if I don't think of Krishna, something's going to happen. So I was thinking of Krishna. As soon as I thought of Krishna, he said, do you have your ID? <laughs> and I thought, what went wrong? <laughs> so I said, I, didn't, I couldn't say, well, I forgot it because that wouldn't have been over. I said, oh, I just didn't bring it. <laughs> so he said, I'll be right back. So he goes, goes to another area, comes back about 10 minutes, I'm praying that these inmates, they really don't get any association. They're waiting for devotees to come. And I'm praying and praying and praying. And finally he comes back with the camera, takes my picture. He says, here's your ID. He said, this is most amazing. He said, the only person who could have proved your entrance into the jail was the warden. And he's never in today. He just happens to be in. And he gave the approval. I said, 
Thank you, Krishna. Finally, I get inside, and when I walked inside, this is the second time I had come to this one place. Now the program has expanded. So when I came inside, each one of the persons who are practicing Krishna Consciousness Jail, there was nine of them, they all came up to me, introduced themselves by their name, and paid obeisances. I was thinking, whoa. Srila <laughs> Prabhupada. And then, of course, I sat down there, and they, they led the kirtan. <laughs> they led the kirtan. They had their own guitars and some other instruments. They also had a murdanga. They had a whole beautiful altar with deities of Gornitai, Radha Krishna, Ganesh, Jagannath. And all of this started simply because of Srila Prabhupada's books. That same jail, this year in John Mastami, they showed the movie about Srila Prabhupada, and 60 inmates came to the showing. After the showing, the devotees who were regularly there, they said, people were blown away. <laughs> they had, they'd never heard of Hare Krishna before, but when they saw the movie, they saw, this is amazing. And since that movie came, now the attendance for the regular jail program has increased more and more. So, of course, we thank Yadobar for, for preaching by giving this wonderful opportunity. But it all comes back to Srila Prabhupada's books. His books are like his personal entrance into the hearts and lives of so many people around the world. Prabhupada's, of course, we've heard this many times today and we all know it. Prabhupada said, if you want to associate with me, read my books. I'll tell one little personal story, not to glorify myself, but this happened to me many, many years ago. I was reading Srimad Bhagavatam for a, quite a long time, maybe about two hours. I was just reading, 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 reading. And something amazing happened. It was mystical. All of a sudden, I was no longer reading, but I was hearing Srila Prabhupada's voice speaking the words as I was reading. It was like listening to Prabhupada's tape. And I went on and on for a few minutes, and I thought, yes, Prabhupada wants to teach me. I'm in my books. <laughs> I'm actually here in my books, personally. Read my books, and you can associate with me. So... What I wanted to bring out is that we should read more and more, not only read these books, understand these books, and of course, speak the knowledge in these books to everyone we can, because this is the way to spread Krishna consciousness in a very, very direct and powerful way by giving people the association of the, of the pure devotee Srila Prabhupada. Siddhanta spoke so many humorous stories, and I heard this one little humorous story, and I'll just end with it. It's for what it's worth. It's just something I recently heard when I was traveling in the U.S. One devotee told me. It's a short little, little story. One devotee, he just joined the temple. This was in America somewhere. And he didn't know too much about Krishna consciousness, so they had sent him out on books. And so he's there, out there delivering Srila Prabhupada's books, and he approaches one man, gives him the book, the man's looking at the book, turns it over on the other side, and he sees A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. So the man is curious, he says, what does A.C. mean? And the devotee didn't know, so he said, always cool. <laughs> So we know Srila Prabhupada is always cool in giving us Krishna consciousness. Thank you very much, Srila Prabhupada. <laughs>